stop eating candy. You should make better choices. Stop eating candy. It's your fault because you're like this. It's your fault. Stop eating candy. Stop eating so much it's candy. It's your fault you're like this. I'm sorry. You should make better choices. It's your fault. It's your fault. I'm sorry. People who follow their treatment plan never have these problems. You're not taking your health seriously. You're not taking your health seriously. You're not taking your health seriously. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It's your fault. I have diabetes. I was told this at a young age. I have diabetes. I was told this at a young age. I have diabetes. I was told this at a young age. Even though many people in my family have diabetes. I didn't know I could get it at my age. Every day I worry about taking my insulin or if I've eaten the wrong foods. We know what we should be eating, but it's hard when healthy food costs so much. Where I live, healthy food costs a lot. I can buy a box of noodles for half the price of a bag of apples. When your family lives on a fixed income, you need to make your food last. Sometimes the healthy choice is not an option. It's hard to hang out with my friends and always have to watch what I eat. Can you imagine being a teenager and always making the healthy choice? It's hard to do when all the choices are really bad ones. Type 2 diabetes is also considered to be preventable. This, however, is not always the case. If I eat healthy and watch my blood sugar carefully, I may still have high blood sugar readings and need more insulin. It doesn't mean I don't care or that I'm not taking care of myself. Genetics and biology play a big role in childhood onset type 2 diabetes. Even if I eat healthy and exercise a lot, I may still develop type 2 diabetes. And it's still not my fault. Everywhere I look, I see someone I know living with complications from type 2 diabetes. It's scary, but it's also manageable if I take charge of my health and do what I can. I can live a healthy life. It's not our fault. The Eye Care Advisory Group is part of a study to find out the most important risk factors for kidney disease. Our involvement makes sure that the factors most relevant to us are included in the study. And could help lead to new treatments in the future. We need compassion, not judgment. We need to stop blaming and start asking questions that matter. Look past the stigma. Look past the stigma. Look past the stigma. I don't have to die from this disease.